Hey there guys, so this is my hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black and Do I hear rustling grass? Is there not Dino nearby? I have, to ch I have to check. Hmm. I swear I hear some sort of rustling grass around here. Okay, it's a wild Pokemon. Maybe, yeah, it was just my imagination I bet, but yeah. In the last video we ran into people, Skyla and Cedric, Juniper, the you know, battle trainers on Route 7 and now we're in Celestial Tower. We were supposed to meet Skyla who's treating, who's tending to a sick Pokemon, as all gym leaders should and do. It happens every game, there's a sick Pokemon. They said I'm running a ring bell on top of this tower, it pleases the rising spirits. So yeah, we should be more respectful in here because this is where Pokemon are laid to rest when they die. Hopefully some asshole won't destroy this tower and build a radio tower here, unlike in some region where there's a, a tower for dead Pokemon, huh? Jeez, that's so terrible. Indescribable energy is flowing to me. Mm. And I must unleash it with the Kamehameha. Supposedly there's a new Dragon Ball Z movie come out, coming out in Japan. And it's animated and it's actually um, facilitated by one of the actual geniuses behind Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, this is... What's his name again? Elgium. A psychic Pokemon that's slow but... Strong, I guess. Not much else to say about it, really. It's a psychic Pokemon. It's, it's your standard psychic Pokemon, but yeah. Supposedly, there's a new DBZ movie coming out in Japan, but yeah. Now to cut. Because there's no new Pokemon. Or maybe I'm lying. Maybe I just lied to you. Uh, psych. I'm not cutting this battle out. But who to use? Let's use Solosis because Janjars has a move that they can use to destroy psychic Pokemon now. Last episode I taught it X Scissor. Now watch it destroy. Destroy the mind with your X chromosomes and that made no sense. So destroy the minds with women? I mean uh You know last video I was wondering why my audience is, is a sausage fest? Maybe this is why. You're a to pig, my hello. Oh great, nice screen. Great. Just announce you about your special moves. You're such a smart ass. This is going to take forever, this is going to be a pain. Oh my god, this is just going to be terrible. Uh, let's use... Okay, let's do the whole Thunder Wave and Electro Ball strategy. Maybe that'll work in my favor? Come on. Here's... I'm hoping that... Oh, nice, you missed. So, I'm hoping that your speed is so low that Electro Ball is going to be extremely powerful. So, I mean... It's maximum can be like... Nice, 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 nice. Like it's maximum can be like around 120 or something like that. It's maximum base power. The energy is escaping. Oh, oh, so sad. So yeah, like I said before, I'm cutting out me shuffling the item speed, you know, for my lucky egg since I'm always like, lucky egg must go to the. What's wrong with you, girl? Uh, you're. Uh, I'd recommend medical attention, girl, because you're meowing like a cat. Like, I mean, maybe you might be popular on Reddit, but. You're sad. I feel sorry for you, girl. Girl. When Pokemon trainers meet, what we do is, of course, have sex. Duh, don't we? I'm so terrible, aren't I? So, Akaku just destroyed a Pokemon and it grew to level 36. Woo, gotta document this crap. So, here's the thing I was using Toru against this Herdier, and Herdier used Roar on me. And then, guess who came out? Uh, of all Pokemon, Misty. And it didn't get destroyed by Herdier. It almost did, but I ended up destroying the Herdier with Water Pulse, so that's your epic slave moment right there, I guess, but not as epic. But then again, it's Chucka Conroy. Let him have his moments. You know, I swear, what if he had orchestrated that evil, you know, epic slave thing, huh? What if it, it was all organized, huh? Conspiracies and Georgia's on Georgia on my mind, and I don't know how the song goes, but Georgia, 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 yeah, solo song, yeah, yeah. We gotta destroy the swatting with oh, so close. String shot. That's your response. You're not using a grass move. That's because you suck as a being, as a Pokemon. Let me just. Oh, Georgia, you bitch. Why do you have a hyper potion? Ugh. Okay. I swear, Jam just has better outspeed Squad Noon, even with the String Shot. Well, okay, well, that, that doesn't count. Protect can go suck itself. Okay, like I said, I, 
This is an insult to, insult to injury. You're quad resistant to ground, but you're destroyed anyway. Like I said, insult to injury right there. Ooh, you're level 36 now. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Now I get to learn a new move. The move I've been waiting for. Sword stance. Raises your attack by two levels. Definitely want this. Screw own claws. Now it's all about sword stance, baby. So, actually what's wrong in last episode? Jam jars. Now Jam jars has its final moveset. Well, final dynamic moveset. Ooh, 1984. Cool. And guess what? Now I'm going to allow Jam Jars to evolve since it has learned Sword Stance. So be in awe of its final evolution form. You've seen it before, but who cares? <coughs> Meet Jam Jars, the Excadrill. So badass. It's now a ground and steel type Pokemon that can destroy everything. Let's take a look at this Pokedex entry, shall we? Let's see here... I thought it's odd. Here it is. Ta-da! So, it can help the tunnel the construction. Its drill has evolved into steel, strong enough to bore through iron plates. Damn, that's strong! Wow, that's impressive. I like the material made in your, you know, drill, man. So let's take a look at your stats after I shuffle the items around. Yes, I decided to show this in, but yeah. Look at that. 113 attack. It's like stronger than all any of my Pokemon in terms of attack. Like, come on. And Toru's the adamant one. Like, Jam Josh is a complete monster truck now. Like, it's the Hag 1. Hag 1. It's going to destroy everything in its path. It shows. It believes in no mercy. Ooh, will -O This could be interesting. Basically, this move burns anything inside. I mean, it's, it has bad accuracy, but whatever. But yeah. Jam Josh is finally an ex extra drill. I have to say, Excadrill can be quite overpowered at times because it's so powerful and so fast. I mean, on the other hand, it has low defenses, I guess, and... I mean, because of its steel type, it has a few more resistances, but uh, at the same time, a few more weaknesses. Like, oh, I thought it, I thought her name was Psychic Balls, but her name is Psychic Bell, but yeah. Um, like, Jam just now is now weak to fire, ground, and fighting, which I did capitalize in my fight against Clay, and... You know what? Let Toru and Vivi share the experience, share the fun, you know, because Toru isn't the best, poke best Pokemon to use against Musharna. Beam against Beam, which one is stronger? M uh, I guess not by much, but still, it works. It works. Alright, destroy it with one more signal beam. Come on, Vivi, you can do it. You got it halfway down, then. Random number generator, and of course, you hit Hypnosis with your 60 accuracy. So, perfect, huh? What if I'll just use some sort of item on you? Like, what do I have? Chesterberry, I'll just use my last one. I think by now I'll be using um, other items for status elements and don't don't die, don't die. Okay, good, good, good. Now destroy the Mishorna. Destroy the Mishorna. <laughs> awesome sauce, Vivi. Awesome sauce. And Vivi grows to level 36. Even more awesome sauce. And guess what? Toru also grew to level 36. Cool, double level up. Ooh, assurance. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the move, so I don't care about it. Basically, if damage has already been dealt, then assurance is going to deal more damage, but that's very situational, so screw that noise. So yeah, I defeated Psychic Balls. What was that? I guessed what you were, though. A Pokemon trainer, I guess. Oh, level 36. Guess what? That's when Pignite evolves into its next and final evolution form. It's about time, you know, we have Tepic, our Toru, reach its final evolution form. Now, fear the almighty. Ganon. I mean, uh, Firebeard. Embor. By the way, that fire thing, that's his beard. But wait, there's more. That's right, double evolution. You know what would have been so epic if Jam Jars, Toru, and Vivi got to evolve in the same battle, but no, it didn't happen, sadly. But at least we get double battles, I mean double evolution, double evolution, double evolution, what, what? But yeah, Vivi evolved into Galvantula. It's no longer the smallest Pokemon in the world, but hey, now almost all, now my Pokemon team is pretty much all evolved. That's amazing. I mean, I still have to get my last Pokemon, but you know, that'll come soon. 
Don't worry, people. Don't worry. But yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look at their stats first, shall we? Toru, look at you, man. Look at you. One seventeen attack. Damn, you're more powerful than the extra drill. Damn, son. Damn, you're a beast. You're a monster truck. And let's take a look at Vivi. Impressive stats. You know. Basically, with what I plan to do with Vivi, it'll destroy anything, and it's pretty fast too, so. Yeah. Prepare for some awesome sauces. Why am I saying awesome sauce so much in this video? Let's take a look at Embor's Pokedex entry. It can throw a fire punch by setting his fist on fire with his fire chin, and it has a fiery beard and a fire chin. But take a look at how it's a mega fire pig instead of a fire pig. It's a mega fire pig! How can it be more badass than that? This is my first time using Embor, by the way, so I'm pretty awed. And Galvantula is the Ella spider. Um, that's a new. We found a new species, the Ella spider. Uh, well, I mean, and then like I kind of believe that Vivi might have lost his novelty by being bigger, but who cares? So we have Psychic Lin, who has a new Pokemon. It's a Litwick. It's an interesting Pokemon. It's a ghost and fire type, a new combination of types, and actually uses actually used actually used a Litwick back in my previous playthrough of Pokemon Black, and I liked it. It may be slow to raise, but it's worth it in the end because its final evolution form is a complete powerhouse. And oh my God, you're trying to learn re retaliate, dude! I just got rid of retaliate from you, man. Stop trying to go back to the past. It's all about the present and the future, man. I mean, this game, like Pokemon Black, is about moving on from old traditions and going on to new tradi traditions by introdu introducing new traditions like linearity, different experience trends, you know, restricting you to only Gen 5 Pokemon. Yeah, so this is a very unique experience, a very new experience, so you gotta look forward to the f future, hence X and Y will be in 3D, I guess. Let me breathe a sec, the spirits have calmed down a bit, hmm. So for some reason I cut ahead to the next battle without showing you me going to the next battle, but this next trainer, which was a trainer, you know, below Psychic Nin, has a new Pokemon, Golet. Golet is interesting. It has a new type combination. It's a ghost and ground Pokemon, so I guess that makes sense. Let's take a look at Jam Jam's strength though, like how powerful is it? It just one hit KO that Golet. No biggie, no big deal. And we destroyed Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. And I made the same mistake again by showing off another battle without going to the um, um, trainer and showing that journey. But yeah. And what more, this trainer actually has a new Pokemon. So I actually intended to, I actually intended to skip this battle, but no. I have to show off Duosion, the evolution form of Solosis. So that was Bryce. The end. Is that it? So basically, this is what happened. I went and fought this trainer, you know, I went down and fought this trainer, and then I was like, oh, I gotta go back, but then, you know, he saw me, and I was like, crap, I gotta record this now, being all, like, awkward. So the spell attack is useful for ghost Pokemon, yeah. So after doing some item shuffling, let's go talk to this nurse. Hello, nurse. You need a nurse's help? Guess what? I'm gonna kill your Pokemon, so you should know the drill by now. Yeah, as per usual, nurses are so homicidal, just like doctors. What is wrong with the medical field in Unova? Like, Unova needs to have a... It needs to have an overhaul in terms of it in this medical field, but let's take a look at Toru. Now is a, com a complete badass. You know, I thought about naming Toru Ganon because Embor looks so much like Ganon. It does. But, I mean, it makes sense because, like, you know, it would have represented the Zelda series, which I have done Let's Plays of, but it would have been too easy. And I believe Toru is a better representation of, you know, first of all, my childhood and the fact that it looks more like Toru than it does like Ganon. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying, but we have a new Pokemon to see here. Elama Mola. Not the evolution form of Love Disc. You know, for some reason, I just want to call this Aloha Mora. You know, it's. I mean, if you just rip it. Aloha Mora, yeah. It's just Aloha Mola. I mean, I guess it's a student. I mean, it's a it's a palindrome actually. So, uh, you know, if you spell Aloha Mola backwards, that's actually Aloha Aloha Mola. Yeah, yeah. Short story, long story short, Aloha Mola is a palindrome. So that's pretty cool, actually. That is pretty mind blowing. But I don't know. I don't know. Like I always call Aloha Mola Aloha Mora. You know, like the Harry Potter spell because 
you know, I was raised, I was raised on the Harry Potter books, and Aloha Mora is a pretty useful spell, you know, unlock stuff, and yeah, that's Harry Potter nerdgasm, I guess. Celestial Tower means perfect tower. What? Oh, never mind. Let's have a Pokemon. Let's have a Pokemon battle. You made no sense just now. Is that like a translation? Is it like is it like some sort of is that like some sort of joke that was like lost in translation? Because if so, I like. If that was some sort of reference to how, you know, Celestial Tower is something that's lost in translation, I like how you might have referenced that by being on like, oh, forget what I just said. Just, let's fight over here. I don't know. Like, I don't get the logic in seeing how he said, Celestial Tower is perfect tower and of course you have Fire Fang. Jeez, like I said, Jam Jar has a few more weaknesses, but guess what? It is destructive. With Sword Stance and Earthquake, that stop end is just as good as dead. Wow, 2979 experience points. Wow, that's extremely generous at this point in the game. Look at that, look at that boost. You re you're really perfect, said Beckett. What kind of name is Beckett? So let's move on and get this item, a revive. Beautiful. So these ace trainers should have, should have some interesting po interesting Pokemon since they're ace trainers. Pokemon that grew up in Unova and Pokemon that grew up elsewhere. Both rest here quietly. So we just import Pokemon corpses from Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh. You just import corpses from those places, and I guess they also import corpses from Ore and uh, all the other regions in the world, and I guess a new Frenchy region, or English region in X and Y, what, what am I talking about anymore, I don't know. We have a Swoobat here, okay, this could be annoying, you're using Calm Mind, which will increase your special attack and special defense, so let's see if Air Cutters get enough, come on, let's see here, oh, it's good enough, nice, Aku Aku, you're amazing, I love you. So, I, want, I wanted to show this battle off because this Ace Trainer actually has a Gotharita. The evolution form of... Gothita. Yeah, it's whatever. Why am I sending a Toru? Because I'm confident in Toru's strength. Yeah! Let me show it off by using Heat Crash! Gotharita may, may be heavier than Gothita, but guess what? BAM, bitch! You don't got no game, bitch! Cassandra. That's actually a cool name, Cassandra. That's a very legit girl name. I like that. It kind of reminds me of like a girl with long, bushy hair, but Cassandra's a nice name, and Shadow Claw's a good move. Uh, let me show the TMs off, shall I? Let's see here. The new TMs I got today were Shadow Claw and Will O Wisp. So Will O Wisp inflicts burns, which is nice, and Shadow Claw, which is kind of like Slash, but Ghost. So I might. So like I said, Jam Jars will have a dynamic moveset, so I might teach Shadow Claw to Jam Jars when appropriate, but wow, look at this place. It looks so cool when it's nighttime and so purpley, like, it's like purple Listerine. Oh, like, oh my god, like, Kane, thank you, you came. I was like, right. And it's like, I heard Pokemon, like, I saw, I saw her Pokemon, don't worry though, it's fine now. I even like a Max Revive, and it's like, totally good now, like, oh my god, like, I'm the hero. Then I have great eyes, like, oh my god, I'm so perfect, like, no matter how far things away, I've had his eyes can, like, see them, you know? My doctor once told me that I could be a pilot with my good eyesight, but then I destroyed my eyesight. So this started as like first seeing the spirit of Pokemon, like, oh my god, that's so true, so why did you just ring it? Also like the character person like ring the bells like reflected in its sound. So like you should like totally ring it so I can like judge you. Like, come on, like don't be shy, like come on, do it. Do it. So let's ring the bell. So the sound of the bell is telling us that Mayo is a drug dealer and he abuses Pokemon and he has prostitutes at home. What a pretty sound, like, oh my god, you're like a kind of strong person, like, oh my god, that's like totally, oh my god, amazing, like, oh my god, I like to introduce, like, I like to introduce myself again, I like Skylight, the leader of the Restorative Pokemon gym, I like use flying Pokemon, as I can tell, like, but yeah, come to my gym, like, when I'm, like, ready, I give you a big welcome with my boobs and all, so, and I'm not wearing any clothes right now, so, see you there, art. Okay, that was very painful. But yeah, we have to go away from this cool looking place and fly back to Mistrotten City. Thank God I brought Misty with my fly slave with me, huh? Otherwise, I would have had to have to walk all the way down the tower and back. Nope, nope, too long. Didn't walk, I guess. TLDW, I guess? <laughs> so, Toru actually has a move we can learn now that it has evolved with a hard skill. Hammer Arm. It's much better than Arm Thrust, I'll say that. It decreases my speed and it has 90 accuracy, but it's extremely powerful. It has nine. It has 100 base power, so I believe it's much better than Arm Thrust because Arm Thrust is so finicky. So, yeah, power over 
um, insurance, I guess. But what insurance? There's no insurance at all. Or assurance, I guess. So let me just increase the PP of hammer arm from 10 to 12. Anybody else? Um, maybe? Earthquake. Yeah, of, of course. Earthquake. Let's increase it from 10 to 12. Basically, PP up increases your PP by uh, 20%. So that's pretty good. So yeah. Let's take a look at that badass moveset. And let's take a look at this new badass. So in the next video, I'll be taking on the Mistrotten Gym with my new badass team. So badass. I'm badass. See ya.